Recently, I was in Kenya visiting a community of sex workers that our lab works in partnership with to study HIV. Through talking to them, I learned that unplanned pregnancies are an issue that has pushed many of these women to drop out of school and to turn to sex work so they could feed their children. As Canadians, we're certainly no stranger to the issues of unplanned pregnancies. About 30 to 40 percent of pregnancies in Canada are unplanned. To promote family planning, there are a variety of contraceptives that women can choose from. Contraceptives, also known as birth control, are drugs or devices that can be used to prevent unplanned pregnancies. One of the most commonly used contraceptives is an injectable drug called DMPA. Why? Because it's affordable and one injection could prevent against pregnancies for three months. Now here's the bad news. There are research studies that suggest women who use DMPA have a higher risk for HIV infection. Researchers think DMPA can weaken the cellular barrier inside the vaginal tract, making it easier for HIV to sneak in. DMPA can also increase inflammation in the vagina, thus creating an environment that favors HIV infection. What's even worse is inside this inflammatory environment is a pool of cells that HIV loves to infect called HIV target cells. The focus of my thesis, however, is on a specific immune cell called natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are important because they protect us from cancer and viral infections. Studies have shown that natural killer cells can even help prevent HIV infection. And while we know that DMPA affects many cells of the immune system, we still don't know if DMPA affects natural killer cells. To answer this question, we're using blood from women who use DMPA and comparing their natural killer cells with women who don't use DMPA. Using a technology called flow cytometry, we will scan these natural killer cells for differences in function and markers of activation. This study will help us to understand how DMPA affects natural killer cells and how DMPA could alter these natural killer cells and their ability to defend against HIV. In the bigger picture, there are lots of women who use DMPA to protect themselves from unplanned pregnancies. And it's not fair to them that we still don't know how DMPA affects their HIV risk. In the end, no woman should have to use birth control and worry that it might increase their risk for an infectious disease. Thank you, and asante sana.